the reluctant prodigy. Really dislike being called a prodigy or a genius um, because I feel that it doesn't, it doesn't really describe me. So modest and so young, his music will blow you away. The National. Here is Peter Mansbridge. Good evening. Ten years ago, he couldn't even play chopsticks. Now, the way he plays a piano can give you the chills. He's a young Canadian performing at concert halls around the world, sharing the stage with famous conductors. But call him a genius and he shies away. Joe Schlesinger brings us the amazing story of the reluctant prodigy. Summer night at Ottawa's National Arts Centre. Renowned violinist Mika Zuckerman is conducting Beethoven's Piano Concerto No. 3. The pianist, a rising star in the world of classical music, a Canadian who, according to Zuckerman, has the world at his feet. Well, I think talent of that magnitude comes in at least two or three generations apart. Uh, you don't see that very often. The brilliant new star, a boy of 14. I just want to always express how beautiful the music is, how beautiful the composer wrote the music, and not how beautifully I can play it or how fast I can play it. I mean, it's all interpretation, but I feel that the interpretation is actually to make the music more beautiful. He may still be a child, but Jan Ryszewski, born and raised in Calgary, has a record of mature, sophisticated performances that have wowed critics and audiences the world over. Jan has played in Japan and Britain, all over Canada and the United States, in Poland and France. He has played with some of the world's foremost musicians, the pianist Emmanuel Axe and cellist Yoyuma among them. They are extremely kind and extremely generous. Being a kid, though, he was more impressed by something else when he first met Yoyuma. He spilled some water on his shirt he was drinking, and, and so he said the F word. So I went back to, back to the audience, and I said, Mommy, Mommy, I, met, I went and met Yoyo Ma. So everybody was listening intently, everybody around. And, and, and my mommy says, and what did he say? And I say, he said the F word. <laughs> <laughs> the keyboard, Jan puts childish impishness behind him. The transformation from little kid to mature performer was swift. He had his first piano lesson at five. His first concert at nine. Then last year, a dream come true, a performance at New York's Harold Carnegie Hall. It's an incredible experience because you think of all the people, all the musicians, all the artists that have performed there. And I think that every single person has left a little piece of their soul behind. So you think of all the ghosts that are floating around um, within the hall, and to put it in a very nice way. And it's amazing just to be playing there, just to experience that. Amazing indeed, especially given his background. Child prodigies from Mozart to Michael Jackson usually come from highly musical families and have often been pushed hard by ambitious parents to excel. Not Jan Ryszewski. His parents, immigrants from Poland, can't even sing, never mind reading music or playing the piano. Having their only child become a musician was certainly not their idea. If anyone is pushing him, it's Jan himself. 
Anita and Zbigniew Lisiecki only enrolled their son in piano lessons because a school counselor suggested it would broaden the boy's horizons. For half a year, I think he was a very typical student. We have a little book with her notes down the bank on a piano. And after half a year, half a year he started progressing very rapidly. Jan's music teacher, Colleen Aparia, was astonished when she tested him at age six by having him play a boringly technical finger exercise. Uh, I'd heard the piece many times played because I'm an examiner and usually it's just a matter of playing the notes. Anyway, he played it so beautifully. I thought I have never could have even imagined it played so musically. It, it, it just it transformed these kind of dry notes uh, into beauty. Soon, there was no stopping him. Jan began winning piano competitions and drawing the attention of famous musicians like Pinta Zuckerman. I heard Jan play um, the first time and um, within about seven or eight bars I was to say the least, I was quite impressed. I can tell you that if, if I didn't know who was playing, I would hear an old soul. An old soul is what you hear in great talents. Uh, that's just a phenomenon. In fact, the, the performances of some of these great icons when they were in the early teens, and you hear, you hear old souls, you hear actually old people playing. They get younger sounding as they get older. With fans like that, the young boy quickly acquired a reputation as a prodigy. I really disliked being called a prodigy or a genius um, because I feel that doesn't, it doesn't really describe me. I feel that I've been very lucky with the people that I've met and with the people that have been helping me. And I, that I've also worked very hard uh, for what I've got and possibly I do have talent, um, depending on what your definition of, of it is. But really, I don't think that uh, being called a child prodigy and thinking of, you know, where will he go, what will happen, is it's not really a good thing for the child. He certainly doesn't brag about his achievements. On the contrary, the kid hides his light under a bushel. Instead of proudly showcasing his many awards, he has them stashed away in the basement. He's not even sure where. Here it is. Why does he hide them? My music is really important to me, um, and I don't feel it's very important to actually display my different plaques and certificates and medals and um, crystal things and everything outside because I feel that it's very, it's not that important to me. And I rarely, I've never actually come down and looked at this before. If Jan is not the egotistical, swell headed brat so many child stars get to be, Credit his parents who have worked hard to keep him that way and keep his life as normal as circumstances permit. You know, when he's called prodigy, it sounds like he has some kind of weird sickness, which hopefully he's going to outgrow, yes, and become normal after being a prodigy. So we never use the word in our houses that, oh, you are so special. If anything, we always reminded him how privileged he is, how privileged he is to live in Canada.